welcome or welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking on today's story time before we get into it make sure you are subscribed give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below okay so you read the title you know we're going to be talking about so let's get into it this is story time about when i realize guys really will tell you anything to get what they want let me explain okay so let's take this all the way back to 2015 i want to say yeah it had to be 2015. i met this guy we're gonna call him i hate using fake names on my channel because i really be wanting to say to people real name we'll call him ant i don't think i used that name before if i did no correlation at all i'm pretty sure i haven't used that name before also i gotta hurry up because dudes who gotta go to the bathroom and i tried to let him go to the bathroom but like just a little side note y'all know i like to ramble i tried to let him go to the bathroom before i start recording he had three different times to try to go to the bathroom this morning the first time he was playing around the second time he got in trouble because he ran up on these nice people that was going for a morning walk they didn't ask for that and when dudes jump up on people he likes to like pee a little bit i was just so embarrassed and then the third time i had did like my edges and stuff and you know i stay in florida so like my edges got like 2.5 seconds before they start like curling up and i did this for the video so i was like okay you playing around i'm thinking you're gonna do a little one too and then mommy can come do her job but he was playing so i'm like now you gotta wait till after i'm done with work okay cool i'm not gonna rush though deuce had plenty of time to do what he needed to do i'm not gonna rush actually i'll take that back talk about i need to hurry up no y'all come first right now anyways so me and aunt met on um tinder oh lord again when I was on Tinder, y'all already know how that go. Oh, y'all keep y'all keep letting me forget to make a playlist for the Tinder um, series. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Okay, so I met him. And mind you, when me and him first met, he was super sweet. He was like a gentleman. He was super nice. We seemed like we had like a lot in common. And he was fine. So I'm just like, okay, like I like talking to him. So we were texting on the app for like a couple days. And then we moved the conversation to our like regular iMessages or whatever. So I really remember like the first couple weeks we was texting we was y'all we was on the phone we was falling asleep on facetime and some other shit like he really seemed like he was like a good guy like he seemed like he was like very interested in like what i had to say like what i like to do it looked like he was paying like close attention to like little details and i'm just like where is this man from like it ain't no way like he make me feel like this and he give me butterflies and he look good like everything was so great y'all or so i thought right because you know when you first start talking to a guy they put their best foot forward that little they say it's like a three month mark they say that little three months that fake fake person that they give you in them first three months that's the best time of your life i swear mind you me and him didn't end up like talking for like three months all of this what i'm gonna tell y'all in this story time happened within the span of like i want to say no less than like four weeks but no more than like six it really like was not that long at all okay so like i said we falling asleep on the phone we texted every day um and mind you this was in 2015 y'all i was how old was i in 2015 19 years old in 2015 I, I would say like don't judge me but i don't even care if you judge me at this point because like i'm so far removed from like the little girl that i was but just listen to the dumb decisions that i was making back then like i would never do even half the stuff that i did back then like right now so mind you this is still a stranger like i met him on a date and i've been like yeah we talking on the phone i see what you look like like on facetime and stuff but i still don't know you for real like from a can of paint get your nephew come get your nephew okay why am i like i just used to be the pull up queen like i would pull up on some like little side note another little side note one time i met this guy at my job this is before i started working at jimmy jazz it was another job i had i met this guy he literally met me that same day at my job when he was talking he was like oh i think you're so fine we exchanged numbers i pulled up on him that night that is so unsafe and you know why i tried to like make it like 
logical for me because y'all know I used to stay with my mama and mind you my mama is not like she's not like super strict to where like because like I'm still slick grown like I'm 19 I still live with her so like her house her rules but like my mama wasn't so like strict to where like I, I could ask her oh can I have company and she would say no like she would be cool with it but it's just like I didn't want my mama like all up in my business because like if that's the case it's finna be 50 11 dudes up in that no I'm just kidding I'm just kidding but like I was talking to like multiple people and I didn't want to bring like multiple niggas like all up and through her house you know and then like I could have like had them like pull up and we just sit in front of the house but then she would be nosy like picking out the blinds and the windows and texting me like who is that and just like all of this other stuff like I didn't like to tell her about like a lot of guys until like I knew like okay this is somebody who's gonna be in my life for real like this is somebody I'm taking serious this is somebody I'm for real talking to this is my man like something like that so um we text in and he like um pull up on me after you get off work or whatever like later on that night and my stupid ass said yes Dudes keep looking at my feet, and I don't know, like, what type of freak shit he be on every time I turn this camera on, but, like, I promise you, I don't get down. Like, I don't like my feet to be in nobody's mouth. Like, not even a man. So, anyways. So, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna pull up. I know, super unsafe. You don't know this man. You don't know where he got you pulling up to. Like, just all this stuff. I know. Whatever you gonna say in the comments, I know. I've thought about it. I've forgiven myself. Whatever. I've moved on. This was so long ago. I'm just sharing with y'all so y'all can take something from this. Because I know it's a lot of young girls that watch me and subscribe to me and follow me on social media. So, take what I'm saying to you and apply this. Because I was moving, like, really, really, really bad. So I pull up on him and we just sit in the car, we talking. Like I love parked car conversations. Like I can like if I'm vibing with you, I can sit and talk to you for like hours. Like I love for somebody to like pick my brain. Like I love for us to just talk about like a whole bunch of like different stuff. Like I love conspiracy um theories. Like I just love like a whole bunch of just like random stuff. And that's what we was doing. Like, we was talking about ourselves at first. And then we was talking about, like, random stuff. Like, it was just, like, the conversation was good. Now, mind you, before all of this happened, I will say, I'm a flirt. Sometimes it scares me because, like, sometimes I do be intentionally flirting. But most of the time, I'm just nice. And I'm pretty. So, you think I'm flirting with you. And I'm really not. Um, but I was flirting with him like most of the time and sometimes the conversations would get like a little like sexual or whatever but I would always try to like change the subject like I wasn't like engaging in it and it's not because like I didn't want to or like I wasn't attracted to him that way it was just like too soon like we only been texting for like a couple weeks and we already talking about like humping like I don't I don't really like that and also at this time which this should have been a huge red flag to me but mind you i'm 19 years old i'm still a kid for real like for real for real. i think i'm grown but i'm really still a child he has sent some explicit pictures to my phone i never sent him nothing back i never sent him nothing back but i was engaging with it like it was like a topic of conversation which i should have just deaded it like right then and there but i didn't so maybe that was my fault it's not my fault how, how he treated me. Y'all gonna see, but, like, that was my fault for, like, not, like, stopping it, like, right there for it to, like, not go no further. Okay, so we in the car, we talking, and I'm just, like, in my head, like, oh, my gosh, like, he's so fine. I had made up in my mind, like, I don't want to, like, have sex with him, at least, like, not yet. Because, like, what if we continue to talk and then this leads to, like, a relationship? Obviously, I'm going to have sex with my boyfriend, which you shouldn't be having sex with nobody outside of marriage, like, period, but... Again, young, dumb, you don't know no better. So I'm just like, the most I'm going to do is like kiss him, right? Like I had already made it up in my head like, we just going to kiss or whatever. Um, What was I saying? Damn, I hate getting interrupted. I need to put my phone on D&D. &D. Um, okay, so yeah, I had made up in my mind like all I was going to do was kiss him or whatever. Like it wasn't going to be like nothing more, nothing less, right? So we talking and I said some shit like, like, oh, you keep looking at my lips, like, oh, you must want to, like, kiss me or something. And so, he gra like, he grabs my head, and I'm letting him do this. 
he grabs my head and he like pulls me and we start kissing right so i'm like okay i'm cool with this like as long as we keep it like just you know a little kiss a little make out is as far as i'm gonna go a little tongue that's cool cool we kissing we kissing all right and i feel his hands like they start like wandering a little bit which i mean like mind you we like the same age like 19 year old horny ass nigga of course so he trying to like 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 rub on my body and I feel his hand like trying to like go in between my legs. So I like just stop his hand like in like mid action. I stop his hand and I just hold it. So we kiss it and then he try to like get out of like my hand, like my hand tug, and he try to like do it again. So I stop his hand again. So then he pull away from me. And he was like, like what's up? Like what's wrong? And I was just like, I just don't want to, like, do that on, like, the first link. Like, I don't want to, like, I don't want to do that. And mind you, back then, I used to think that, like, fucking on, like, the first link or, like, the first date was going to make a guy, like, have more respect for you or, like, like you or whatever. And, like, you can have your own, like, opinions on this. Like, this is just me speaking now as a grown adult. Like, I promise you, if you fuck on the first night... Or the 100th night. If a nigga gonna dog you out, he was gonna dog you out regardless of if you waited to give it up or not. If a nigga gonna treat you right, he was gonna do that regardless of if you decided to give it up or not. Like, I know people who have been together for 10, 15, 20 years and then had sex on the first night. And I know people who, she done waited. What Steve Harvey said in that one book, uh, the 90-day rule. She done read the whole book, play by play, waited 90 days. Nigga done dogged her the fuck out. Like, it really just does not matter. Like... I was on some shit like, cause you know, this was like after I had got assaulted. I always just told myself like, when I have sex, like even before I like met him, like, and I was having sex, like after I got assaulted, like I always told myself, it's always going to be on my terms in my control. Like I'm never going to have sex with a guy just because like, that's what he want from me. Like anytime I have sex with somebody, it's because I 100% wanted to the control was completely in my hands because it's my body you feel me so i just had like that mindset and i just knew like i was standing firm like i did not want to have sex with him at least not then right like maybe we keep talking like yeah i'm not gonna sit here sit up here and lie to y'all like oh no i was trying to save my body no no i was um 19 year old yes i'm exploring my sexuality like i'm not i'm not even finna fake it to y'all like i'm gonna keep it a buck if i wanted to fuck on him i was gonna do that i just didn't want to so he pulled back and he like like what's wrong whatever and i was just telling him like oh i just don't want to like do this like on the first link type shit so mind you very respectful very kind like he didn't like catch an attitude he didn't like cuss me out like he didn't do nothing like he was just looking at me and he was like he actually said like wow like he didn't say like he was testing me but it was on some shit like i just wanted to see if he was going and like you not going so like that made me like you more type shit right and mind you i'm in the headspace of like oh like like yes like that just made him like me like so much more like he for sure gonna want to wife me now like girl no so i'm just like yeah like i just don't want to do it in the first like whatever so we go back to talking we probably kissed like a little bit more after that but it wasn't like nothing too serious or whatever so okay cool that's the first link. Everything went well. He tried to go there. He tried to take it there. I stopped him. Everything cool. Listen to how this guy was maneuvering. Because by the time I get to the end of this story, y'all gonna be like, what the fuck? Okay, so I probably link with him like, I don't know, like a Wednesday or a Thursday or something. I worked that weekend um, and we was texting. He was like trying to like coordinate schedules because the job that he had, he always worked like early mornings. And by the time I went into work, he was like getting off of work. So we was trying to like coordinate schedules. He was telling me he wanted to take me out on a date. Like, let's go um, get some lunch this week. Like, I'm gonna pull up on you on your lunch break. Like, I want to take you out. Um, I miss you. Just all of this sweet stuff, right? By this point, we bay this, bay that, bay this, bay that, right? So couple days after the first link um we met up again he came to my job like literally walked in my job like walked with me to the back of the store so i clocked out we walked out of the store together he holding my hand just all of this sweet ass shit i'm just like oh my god like he's trying to make me fall in love listen to me this is why you have to be so careful about who you give your body to because this man literally wanted me to create a soul tie with him like just just follow me so 
we go out to eat. I can't remember like where we went. It really doesn't matter. Just know we went out on a date on my lunch break. Uh, we spent my lunch break together. Everything cool. Like I got googly gaga eyes for this nigga. Like I'm damn near finna tell you I love you. How delusional I am. Like he just telling me like I really like you. Like you so different. Like. I really enjoy like getting to know you like you damn near finna be my girlfriend like all of this all of this shit right so cool that was that day went on another day cool fast forward a couple days later I pull up on him again so now I'm just like okay this is the third time of us linking up mind you this is the third time of us seeing each other in person and I'm like okay I'm not gonna like have sex with him but like maybe if I just like see the vibe or whatever like maybe if the vibe cool like i don't know like i just gotta like play it by ear like but i'm not going into this thinking like we've been a hump so he invited me over so the first time we like we were just sitting out in the front of the, in the front of his house in the driveway because his people was home so this time his people was not there he was like come over let's watch movies let's eat popcorn like let's just chill i was telling him like oh i like scary movies he was like oh that's so cute like you gonna be jumping in my arms like i'm gonna protect you like just all of this cute shit right he had snacks he had candy like all of this shit I pull up this is when I started to be like okay like what the fuck going on because even if you thought we was gonna do some shit or like had a feeling or like you even wanted to which I know you did because how you was acting the first link I know you want to have sex with me you he didn't keep this shit pee at all he did not keep nothing pee about this I walk in he leading me to the living room mind you it's dark in the house or whatever so it's a coffee table it's like a big old section it's a coffee table and then it's two end tables on each side of the couch or whatever the couch that he's sitting closer to because his phone was on a charger on the end table so I guess that was the uh the end that he was sitting on like closest to that table I look on the end table y'all why I see a magnum condom like, come on now dog come on man like i see the gold just shining shining mind you it's dark the tv on and stuff the gold pack just sitting there now i don't know if this shit fell out of his pocket i don't know if he put it there on purpose i don't know what's going on but that just kind of like rubbed me the wrong way because it's like you got the condom just sitting out like you just you just knew i was gonna drop my panties for you like you just knew i was you just knew and like i'm confused because i told you like I do shit like on my own timing like you're never gonna like try to peer pressure me or pressure me into like having sex with you if I don't want to like I'm telling him this I've told him this so I was just like this nigga got the condom just sitting there like looking at me like so now I'm in my head like I'm for sure not having sex with him like you really just assume so we talking and uh shit like that and again he started trying to like kiss on me and stuff and like i'm not even gonna hold you like this man was so fine and he like smelled so good like i was just so attracted to him like sometimes um even when you don't like your body is still like your body still has like natural reactions to stuff so like even though in my head i was saying i don't want to have sex with him because i don't when you like attracted to somebody and they hitting certain like pressure points and like doing certain stuff to like like naturally turn you on your body reacts a certain type of way if you feel what i'm saying i don't want to get like too explicit and too graphic because this is youtube i'm not trying to let them take my coin but like your body reacts like a certain type of way to stuff that's done to you so in like in response to that like him kissing on me he was like kissing on my neck and stuff like something happened which i didn't want to it was just how my body reacted so he took that as like oh this is the green light so i'm just like no so he was like so what are you if you grow like you know what i'm trying to say i don't want to say it like what are you for you feel me so i'm just like like i don't know honestly what to tell you because i really don't want to have sex with you i really don't i really don't want to have sex with you so um at this point now he didn't like cuss me out or nothing like that or he wasn't like mean about it per se but you can just tell like the energy just shifted and mind you like 
we wasn't even like halfway through the movie before he started like trying to like fill up on me like you couldn't even let like one because he tried to kick it like oh i'm gonna be over here like all night we're gonna watch like a whole bunch of movies and we was just gonna chill like have like a scary movie marathon or some shit you didn't even let like the first movie get to the halfway mark before you started to try to like touch and fill up on me so um which I don't know like maybe he was thinking like I can do that because like we talked like I called her bae I took her on a date like which you shouldn't think like just because you took me out on a date like you're owed something but like again we're stupid 19 year olds like I'm not expecting him to think like a, a grown ass man you feel me even still some grown ass men they still think like a 19 year old so it really don't even matter the age I don't know why I said that so um you could just tell like the vibe is just different, like the energy was off. So I'm trying to like talk to him and stuff. And he's talking back, but he's like not looking at me. He all on his phone. Like he being real like short and dry. Deuce. Oh, boy. He being real like short and dry with me. And I'm like, well, like what's wrong? Like you mad? Cause like, I don't want to like do that right now. And he was like, no, I can never be mad at you. Like, no, I'm not mad at you. He was like, I just thought we was like moving in the direction of like us being in a relationship. Like, do I not make you feel good? Like he really trying to like make me feel bad y'all. Like he trying to make me feel bad for not wanting to humble him. He was like, do I not make you feel comfortable? Like, is it something else that I can be doing? Like, what can I do to like, basically what can he do to change my mind to make me want to fuck on him? So I'm just like, no, it's not you. It's just like, I want to do it like when I'm ready. Like, I'm just not ready. So he's saying shit like, when do you think you'll be ready? Um, Like, how many more links? This nigga basically said, how many links do it take to get to the center of a tussie pop? Like, how many more links uh, do we have to have for you to feel comfortable in <laughs> this, this thing is bad? Then he literally said to me, let me just eat it. Let me just eat it. Let me just eat it. Huh? Huh? Speak up. What? I said, what? No, no. I'm like, it's nothing that you doing. Like, we are moving. Like, we moving at a good pace. Like, I want us to, like, like, I want our bond to be, like, stronger than, like, what it is now. Like, I don't want you to think, like, it's just sex. It's like, I would never think that. Like, I would never think that. Listen to what he's saying, y'all, before his true colors start showing. Because it's finna go down here. He was like, I would never think that. I would never think that. Like, I'm going to take so so much care of you. I'm going to take such good care of you. Like, you in good hands with me. I promise you, like, oh, I appreciate your body so much. Like, you just look so good. Like, just all of this stuff. And I just keep saying, like, no. Like, I'm not saying, like, it's no forever. It's just no right now. So, again, it get quiet. He, like, take his arm from around me. He don't even want to touch me. He don't want my legs on him. He don't want nothing. So, I'm just like, okay, this nigga is starting to, like, act weird. Like, he's saying... He not, but, like, obviously, like, I can tell. And I feel like, I tell y'all, like, all the time, like, I really feel like God gave me the power, the superpower of, like, having such a discerning spirit. And you can ask anybody who knows me, like, any one of my family members or anything, like, at my grown age now, I can clock that shit from a mile away. Like, I'm always right about, like, if somebody's spirit, like, dis like disrupts my spirit or, like, it's an eerie feeling, like, evil, like, weird, like, dark, I can clock it. I literally have goosebumps talking about this right now. I can clock that shit. Like, you know, I feel like God gave me that superpower. I feel like at this point in my life, like when I was 19, it was like not fully developed. Like it was like a baby superpower. Like I can clock it like sometimes, but like I needed to get grown and I needed to have like some life experience and some, some situations happen to me to where like, okay, yeah, like I know this is my gift for real. It wasn't like clicking for me back then. Like it, it wasn't like clicking like how it was supposed to. Like it wasn't clicking like how it would now. So what ended up happening was we finished that one movie and I just didn't want to like sit in the weird awkwardness no more. So I'm telling him like, oh, I think I'm finna like go home. He was trying to like make me feel like he swear he's not tripping. Um, like it's nothing. Like he don't want the vibe to shift. He don't want the vibe to change, even though it clearly did. Cause like now you all on your phone. You're not paying attention to the movie. You're not like cuddling with me no more. Like you're not doing nothing. So I'm just like, no, like it's okay for real. Like, I'm sorry. Like my stupid ass really apologized to Disney. Like, oh, I'm sorry. Like if you thought this night was gonna go like one way and it didn't, like I promise you we're gonna get to that point. Like. You just gotta like give me time like we moving in the right direction like he was like um what did he say he said some shit like 
do you need to like do you like basically do i need to be his girlfriend like do he need to ask me to be his girlfriend like for me to feel comfortable basically saying do he need to like wipe me up just for me to fuck him and i'm just like no it's not that like i do want to be in a relationship with you but i don't want to be i don't want to be in a relationship with you based on the terms of like that's when we have sex you feel me so he was just like like i wish i could just make you feel comfortable i wish i could just make you feel comfortable like i never want to make any girl feel uncomfortable around me like you can be so soft around me like you can like let your guard down you can let your guard down i'm just like bro what like we're literally talking about like having sexual intercourse like bro huh so that was that night this is when it starts to go downhill this is when it starts to go downhill follow me so um and mind you before all of this was happening y'all we talk every single day literally every single day text facetime calls all of that literally every single day leading up to this point and mind you like i told y'all the kind of job that he had he would always go into it like i mean he would be leaving work when i was going into work so like obviously he would be up like before because he had to be at work at like some crazy time like 5 a.m or something so obviously i'm still asleep so he would always text me when he woke up and i would like wake up to it and respond like whenever i was up or whatever right so mind you every single day like clockwork so and it will always be like, oh, good morning, babe. Good morning, gorgeous. Good morning, beautiful. Good morning, baby girl. Like, all of this cute shit. Some emojis. Like, all of this stuff, right? So, the next day, I'm thinking, because, like, we left off. Like, I gave him, like, a kiss before I left and everything. Like, I'm thinking everything cool. Even though, like, the vibe was off, he kept denying it. So, I'm just like, okay, maybe I'm in my head. Like, maybe I'm trying to make an issue. Like, maybe I'm trying to put 20 on 10, right? No, bitch. That was your intuition telling you you're absolutely correct. So... I wake up the next morning and I don't see no text from him. So I'm like, okay, what the fuck? Like, okay, like maybe, you know, like maybe he waiting for me to text him. Like, it's not that big of a deal. It's not that big of a deal. Like, I can text him, like, no worries, like everything cool, right? I hate talking so much and then your lip gloss just disappear because you talking so much. So I'm just like, okay, um, maybe he waiting for me to text him like it's no big deal like i'll just text him and mind you he had his red receipts on so i texted him when i woke up and i was just like um good morning um again i'm st stupid again i'm sorry about last night like i really enjoyed like being around you like i really like you um and i, like, I said something like oh i can't wait for you to like be my man or like some some goofy ass shit like that right so let's say i sent that message at like 8:58 a.m i'm giving it some time i done got out of bed i done shower brush my teeth i'm trying to get ready for work and i'm just like oh like i don't see like no messages from him like on my lock screen or nothing like let me make sure like the message sent mind you this is probably like an hour later so if i sent the message at 8 58 now it's 9 58 mind you he got his rare receipts on right he read that shit at nine o'clock on the dot so two minutes after i sent it that kind of hurted me though literally ready now it's 10 o'clock so i'm like um okay so i'm just like okay and mind you this was back when like i used to tweak out like i don't care if i text your phone a million i will text your phone until that bitch starts smoking and catch fire i never gave a fuck like oh excuse me like i'm not like well i mean it depends on the situation and it depends on how much I fuck with you, how much I like you for real. I will text that bitch until your phone literally catches on fire. I do not care. I kind of like value my peace way more now. So I, like nine times out of ten, now I might let you have it. Unless you like really got me fucked up. Because then I'm, yeah, you got me fucked up. But back then, I didn't care. So I'm just like, okay, let me like double text. So I seen question marks. He opened it immediately because this time I stayed in the message thread. Like I stayed in the actual like screen of the messages to see when he was going to open it. He opened it like immediately. It wasn't immediately. It was like 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 five minutes like later. But you still like 
Because you know how sometimes, like, when somebody just got, like, the screen open, even when you text them again, like, it's going to automatically, like, said red because, like, they're in the, like, they can have their phone over here. But, like, if our messages are open and I text them, you know, it's going to say red at that time because the messages are open. No, it wasn't like that. It wasn't, like, super immediate, but it was, like, immediate enough. Like, you intentionally, like, open it so you still not texting back. So I'm like, all right, this is like weird as fuck. And mind you, I got to go into work. And a job that I had, like you could be on your phone, but it wasn't like be on your phone like consistently. Like I could probably check my phone like once or twice every like hour. And I don't know if y'all ever had to like clock into work when you arguing with like your man or something, but it's the worst shift ever. Cause like now you acting weird and now I don't know if we into it or not. And now I don't know if I need to cut your ass out or not. So now I'm driving to work, I'm still texting like, what the fuck, like you opening my messages. Like I have said some shit like, if you gonna do that, like if you gonna play in my face like that, you might as well turn off your red receipt so I don't know like when you um, open it. He turned off his red receipt. So now I'm not left on red, now I'm left on delivered. Oh, I'm tweaking, I'm tweaking, I'm tweaking, I'm tweaking, I'm tweaking. So I'm going into work. I'm paragraph, paragraph, paragraph. Like, what the fuck? I thought you said we was good. Like, what are you acting weird for? Like, um, you said you liked me. Like, never did I take you to be no weird ass nigga. Like, I didn't think that you was like the rest of these niggas. Like, I'm blowing him up, blowing him up. Y'all, he's not saying anything. It's radio silent. He's not saying shit to me at all. Like, not even like, bitch, leave me alone. Stop texting me. Nothing. I'm tweaking, I'm tweaking, I'm tweaking. So I finally go on lunch. I'm calling him, I'm blowing him up. Cause at this point he's off work. Like he's not at work no more. I'm calling him, he not answering. I'm texting him, he not answering. So I'm like, oh, this nigga got me fucked up. He got me fucked up. So I don't know if this triggered something in him. What I said, cause like I'm texting him until I'm clocked out y'all. Literally the whole, like I was probably at work for like what? Like seven, eight hours or something like that. Texting, blowing up that phone. And it was like towards the end of my shift. Now you want to finally text. Like I said some shit like, cause now I'm going through like the process. It's like the process of grieving. Like I'm mad. I'm upset. I'm sad now. Now I'm accepting it. Like, okay, like I'm not fucking with this nigga no more. Like it was just a whole bunch of emotions. So now at first I was like sad. I'm confused. Now I'm mad. Now I'm irritated. Now you got me fucked up for real. Now I'm mad. I said some shit like, um, some, 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 um, you a weird ass nigga. And I sent a laughing emoji. Literally, just like that. Like, da 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 da, you a weird ass nigga. That must have put a battery in his Like, he was waiting for me to say something because you could tell he was just waiting. He was sitting on this information. So, mind you, before all of this happened, what I told y'all, he was sweet. He was a gentleman. He was taking me out. He was telling me I'm so different. Um,. He can't wait for us to be in a relationship because he played, um, he, of course, of course he played ball. Of course he did. Like, well, I can't wait to go back to school. Um, you're going to be my girl. You're going to be wearing my number on your back. Like, he's telling me, like, all of this shit. Like, he want me to get, like, customized shit off Etsy. Like, just all of this cute shit. Like, oh, my gosh, I ain't never had no girl. Like, come support me. Like, you're going to be in my games with my parents. Just all of this shit, right? All of this shit. And I'm so glad that I did not give it up to this. This is why you have to be so intentional with who you give your body to. Please listen to me. Please listen to me. Because just imagine if I did fuck this nigga. That's why I say, like, it don't matter if you fuck him on the first night or you wait. Listen to how his true colors started coming out. Because this is how you felt about me. And you having sex with me was just going, like, I was just going to be, like, another name on his list. Like, another notch in his belt. I said, you weird ass nigga. Y'all, he texted me back and he was like, bitch. All I seen was a bitch. I immediately called. Like, I didn't even read. Like, he sent like two long ass paragraphs. I called, he didn't answer. So now I gotta pull over because now I'm getting hot. Now you finna make me crash the fuck out for real. Quite literally, crash the fuck out. So I pulled over. Like, I pulled over into like this plaza, like this store plaza or whatever. And he was like, I can't remember verbatim like what he said, y'all, because this was so long ago. But. To sum it up, he said some shit like, bitch, um, you think you are that, um, you cute, but you ain't that fucking cute, I wasn't even trying to, like, wipe your ass for real, I was just trying to fuck, um, that's the whole reason why I even, like, uh, match with you anyways, that's the whole reason why I wanted to link with you, I was just trying to fuck, you don't mean shit to me anyways, this is why bitches need to uh, 
what, what did he say? He was like, so I'm like, this is why I play bitches. Um, I'm not serious about none of y'all. I was just trying to, like, basically, like, you don't mean nothing to me. All of this was a facade. All of this was a lie. I was just trying to fuck. So now I'm like, wow. Like, shout out to me for having discernment because, like, I really was not going to have sex with you. Like, just imagine. If you, you feel something, like, you knew when you first met me. Like, you knew off the first link. Like, you knew. Like, even before we linked. Like, you knew when we was falling asleep on FaceTime, you only just wanted to put. You know, when we was falling asleep on the phone, you only just wanted to do that. You know, when you was telling me, oh, I want to take you on a date. I want you to be my girl. You know, all of that was a lie. You just wanted to have sex with me. So just imagine if I would have literally like given him my body and created a soul tie with him and then he was talking about like like oh um he don't believe in like protection and like all of this stuff so like you wanted to like raw dog me create a soul tie and then I would have been walking around with, with, with them demons and me that live in you and this is like if you don't take nothing from anything that I said in this video please take this do not do not just go around having sex with any and everybody literally like we're not even supposed to be having sex before marriage y'all sex was literally created for man and his wife but um I know like realistically speaking that's not how the world is because we live in a very sinful world and I'm not even trying to like go to church with y'all nothing I'm just telling you for real if you are going to do that before you get married, be intentional and use your discernment. Use your intuition. Like, all of us don't have discernment. I'm talking to ladies. All of us don't have discernment, but all of us definitely have intuition. Like, please use your intuition. Like, if something feels funny, if you feel like a vibe is off, don't do it. And please don't do it for the sake of, like, a man. Don't do it because you think, oh, this is going to make him like me more. Don't do it because, like, oh, you think... Oh, this is going to make him, like, want to make me his girlfriend. This is going to make him want to, like, wife me up. No. Because a guy knows his intentions with you off jump. Like, literally. It just took all of this for his true colors. Like, I tell you, like, the guys, like, they put their best foot forward. It'd be, like, the fakest, most funnest, most... You think it's, like, the most nicest guy that you've ever met. Like, oh, my gosh, where has he been all my life? He's being fake and phony because he wants something out of you. So he was saying all of that and um, I was just like, wow, like you're really disgusting. And I said some shit like, I wouldn't let you touch me with like a 10 foot pole or like something like that. And um, he was just like, um, nah, you capping. He said some shit like, he probably didn't say that because I don't think we were saying that back then. But he said some shit like, it probably was going to take like one or two more links and um he would have fucked and he would have told me to get the fuck on. Me? You would have told me to get the fuck on? For sure. So I was just so disgusted. Like, I just, like, I was, like, I was just sitting in my car in silence and I just kept saying, like, wow, wow, wow. Like, I'm literally, like, disgusted with you. Like, literally, I'm fucking disgusted. Literally, like. And this was when I started to realize, like, guys really ain't shit for real like this was after sean and all of this and like of course he made me realize like guys really ain't shit but like guys will literally tell you anything and like this is why i don't especially now i don't be believing shit that a nigga say to me you could tell me the sky is partly cloudy and it's a 20 percent chance of rain and i'ma still go fact check that shit literally a guy can literally tell you any and everything like be the nicest guy that you think you've ever met in your whole entire life and look look what happened because I'm telling you, it was literally like no for real red flags, y'all. He was courting me. He was taking me out on dates. He was like being a gentleman. Like, <sighs> I'm just so glad like I did not have sex with him. Because like, I would have been like seriously like heartbroken and distraught if I did. Like, this is how you been feeling. Like, you felt like this like before we even linked in person. Like, you felt like this off the initial like it's a match on Tinder. Like, so disgusting. So disgusting. Literally so fucking disgusting. So after that, um, I said some shit. Like, what I say? Like, oh, I wouldn't let you touch me with like a 10 foot pole. He said like, oh, it would have been like um, one or two more links. And mind you, like I said, remember I told y'all, he sent me like a 
a weenie pic. I said I wouldn't let. <laughs> I said, I wouldn't let you touch me with that sick dick even if you paid me. Even if you paid me. Because his, his thing he did look like a little weird. Like, I ain't gonna go into too much detail or nothing. But it just didn't look normal. It did look like it was under the weather a little bit. Like, it looked a little sick. Like, it had a little cough or something. I don't know. Hmm. So, I said that. I was like, I wouldn't let you touch me with that sick dick even if you paid me. And he's typing mid, mid since it's blocked. That was my favorite thing to do back then. I'm going to say some shit to ruffle your feathers, blocked. Because now I'm not going to get the response. He was blocked on everything. Instagram, the shit I found is Facebook. I didn't want him to be able to respond to me in no way, shape, or form. Snapchat, everything, he blocks. You can't get in contact with me at all. So then he started calling me, no call ID. Decline, 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 decline. Bitch, I don't want to hear nothing that you got to say. You said you was just trying to fuck me, right? You don't got shit else to say to me. So yeah. That was that. I never, ever, ever talked to him ever again. I never, I feel like I did see him. This is probably like a couple years ago. Where was I at with my mama? I forgot where we was at. We was somewhere in Tampa. Like, I can't remember. Did we go to, no, we couldn't have gone to the mall. It was somewhere and I feel like I seen him. Nigga done gained a little weight. He got like a double chin. It was just like a lot going on. And I was like, look, that karma done caught up with your ass. Because now you went from being fine as fuck to, I wouldn't even give you a second blink if you said something to me at this point. Like, don't ever play with me. So, that was that. I'm super glad that I did not do nothing with him. I damn near felt disgusted even like letting him kiss on me. Like, you was thinking about this like the whole time and I'm, the whole time in my head I'm thinking like oh my gosh we finna be in a relationship like he is so nice he's so kind this is why you have to be careful literally be careful dog these niggas out literally I'm saying that whole time I'm a loving girl and I don't need that type of bad karma in my life I don't think I would ever like dog somebody out like I'll just let you get the fuck on before I feel like I need to get revenge or anything like that like my life is too peaceful right now and I be going through enough as it is. I don't need no type of nothing pushing back on me at all, coming back to me. So, yeah, y'all. That was that was the time that like a nigga really almost got me with the okie doke. He really he really did because he kind of ate a little bit when he said like, oh, um, it might have took like one or two, maybe not one or two. I was willing to like set aside the fact that like yo thingy look like that i was really willing to like overlook that because like at this point like i'm damn near in love and like when you got like them rose colored glasses on you be willing to like overlook a lot of shit asked me how i was with sean for a whole year and he was giving 3.5 inches baby i was in love hello <sighs> crazy as fuck crazy as fuck i actually got like i could tell y'all like another story like this but the guy was like much worse and he tried to like get his sister to like her and her friends to like jump me. I can tell you that's a different story for a different time. Yeah. We just gonna end it right here. So if you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much. I appreciate you and I love you. But you already knew that. Before you click off, make sure you are subscribed. Give this video a thumbs up. If you don't do nothing else, just give it a like, please. Leave me a comment down below and turn on your post bell notifications so you are notified every time I make an upload. That includes lives too, y'all. I don't know why some of y'all like, do y'all get the notifications for my lives or is it just like my videos? Because it should be like all my notifications. Like, I don't know. Some of y'all do, some of y'all don't. So I don't know if it's just y'all if it's youtube i don't know turn the bell on anyways child do it anyways and i'm gonna see y'all next week for a brand new story time bye y'all